What's up everyone, uh, welcome back to Never Alone, and uh, we're in part 9, and uh, by the looks of it we're being chased by this huge, like, giant thing, and uh, let's see what, let's see what happens. Those tree sections are shit. Really, it's garbage. This this section's fucking trash. What the fuck? Where did you go? And the, the the guy that made this game got fucking interviewed. Like he's done a he's done a fucking good job. <laughs> Look at this. Is it embarrassing? It's just trial and error until you fucking get it. <laughs> the thing didn't move! Uh, it's really clunky, but the way he moves is so slow. Direct right back to the fucking start again. What? Where was she? She just 
I started at immediate death. I've got to jump across. Oh my god. You, you just don't believe how clunky these controls are. They're so slow. It's really, I just, want, I just want to finish this shit now. I, I enjoyed it at the start, now it's just, it's, it's crap. I hate that when they, people make, they start, they have a good game at the first half, and then after it just becomes shit. That's why it was cheap. It's all started from playing the game today. All the stuff before today, like before part seven, it was all right. And ever since then, it's just gone kind of crap. And that's the end of the level. Part seven up. <laughs> I'm just whinging at the game. It's so clunky. How, how many how many things have just randomly happened in this game? So now we're rushing back to the fucking. It is clunky. As fuck. And I mentioned that there's a delay, the input delay. I pushed jump and it was too fucking late. Yeah. How was I meant to know there's a fucking platform waiting for me at the bottom? Nope, you're not, you're not told that.
this reminds me of the um, the game I played called Nina um, Killy Koo. It started off really good, and then at the end, it was just fucking garbage. for yourself to see how clunky this is. game is so frustrating. I we've got to fight against that fucking polar bear again as well. game didn't even get crushed oh, why did she jump this game is terrible it really
really is. It's so frustrating. Fucking fuck. Dickhead. It jumped on her own, I didn't even push jump. You were sharing a roller go tip to I marvel when you. A girl and in your pursuit, my little girl. ここ骨。俺も Pate de ver se agarrou a luz e lhe de trixo a maior menu. Right, what's next? Terrigan Nam, look at. Pem, Dark to a moon, silly moon. Double ten and assume Unip Caramount to sang a giga. There we have it, <laughs> finished it. Hell, part seven, eight, and nine. Wow, fucking really showed the game how poor, how poorly made it was. It seemed like the first half of the game, the game was made really well, and the last parts were like just threw together and just with no fucking care in the world. Just oh, just get it out there. Who cares? And on the internet and on the eShop. There's an, not, not, not on, the on YouTube. There's a video of the guy being interviewed. I haven't seen it. I just seen that the video's there. <laughs> so they're talking to him like, "Oh, he's made a fucking good job." And this game got awards, like load of awards. If you watch the trailer at the end, it said all the awards it got and all the praise it got. 
but they're not saying how fucking clunky the controls are. It, it, the game could be could have been fucking amazing. I was enjoying it up to part six of my Let's Play, and after that, I started seeing all the clunky things happening. Did you see me jump to climb for something, and then she just fucking started getting caught in it, and then just died. And that boss with the fire, that that, that guy, that was annoying. That was so clunky to move. It seemed like. The fireball moves quicker than you do, and you just you just can't, you just can't dodge it. It was just luck that I managed to pull it off. And that last bit where we were on the chase and we're scrolling left, oh my gosh, that was a nightmare. It was just death after death after death. Ugh. I'm glad there was checkpoints after each little fucking section. That that that's that's the wisest thing they did there. Yeah, but I saw on the on that Met Metacritic this got a really low score. I think it got like six or six or fives. Maybe because of the clunky controls and the main critique that they said it was too short, but I can know. I think it was a good sized game, like it wasn't if it was, if the controls were decent, I would have I would have liked it to be a bit longer. But because the controls were clunky, and the gameplay was getting on my nerves, that the what I had to do it was the it was the, it was the clunky controls that let it down. Then I, I wanted I wanted to just <laughs> I wanted it, wanted it to end. So I'm just gonna fight right now. It's a silent one. So now that we're done with this, we've got Splatoon on the go. That's that's gonna be that's gonna be an ongoing thing. That's gonna go into like maybe 200, 300 plus parts. It's just it it'll be done when it's done. As soon as, soon as I get to level fifty, I'll stop the stop the series. I just wanna uh, like keep on record of my experience with Splatoon. Like, I'm I'm always playing it like on my other account. I'm on like level. F 40, nearly 41 on that, and that's took me a while, so starting from the scratch is going to take a long time. But then again, I've been playing just Turf Wars. You, you level up a lot more on the ranked matches, or a lot quicker. So we're going to, be, we're going to have to find another game to play. I've, I've still got to do a recording with my Xbox One. I've got, that's been sitting there. The first day I got it, I was playing like Banjo Kazooie like, on the rare replay, and then I haven't touched it again. I've been, I'm, I need an actual proper game, an Xbox release. I was thinking of doing another Banjo Kazooie playthrough for the channel, like for this channel, like the Xbox One version, and maybe Banjo Tui and Perfect Dark and Conkers. The, the other games I'm not interested in, like Viva, Viva Pinata and the the Perfect Dark, the Zero. It's okay, but the N64 one I'm not interested in. And what else is on there? Viva Pinata, and then there's I think there's Battletoads. I haven't tried that. And then all the others are just like shitty 8-bit games. So, yeah, <laughs> never alone. I doubt I'll play this game again. This was just the once through, and that's it. Don't want to get caught up in all those annoying bits. The, the bits I hated the most was those, the, the bits where the tree moves, and I wasn't sure whether I've got to move the branch, the branch that I'm on, or move the things in front of me because it's because it sort of mixed it about. First I was on a tree, and the next minute I'm moving the branches up and down, like I'm sitting on them. And the next minute I've got, I don't know, it's a, it was a bit, bit of a mess. Credits are nearly finished now. And that's it. <laughs> no thanks for playing. No, nothing. Just back to the title screen. So, that was it. Never alone. Kissima inichina, whatever that means. It probably means that, you, that probably means you're never alone in their language. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for my rage for the past three parts. I was just getting so frustrated. And uh, a big thank you, an extra thank you to anybody that stuck around from part one all the way through the Let's Play. Really appreciate that. <laughs> that you're watching and sticking around. 
I know my uh, commentary is not the best in the world, but you know, <laughs> it's what it's all. It's what I've got. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next game and uh, take care. Peace.